Hello everyone, my name is Webweaver, and welcome back to another episode of World of Horror. Kind of messed up on this one. And, uh, well... How do I put it? Meant to record this way earlier, but did not. I ended up taking a nap. So, I'm back on my old bullshit. We're definitely gonna have to start batch recording 110%. Probably tomorrow. Please tell me my headphones are working now. We do not need one second of cord hell. Okay, the headphones are working this time. We do not need one second of cord hell. Um, anyways, so there's like 80 different developments that have happened in the last, like, few hours, and I don't even know where to start. Probably with the most emergent one, the, the most terrifying one. Well, actually, there's two of those. Ah, oh, shit, which one do we start with? It's impossible. Uh, okay, first of all, World of Horror related, okay? Well, both of them are World of Horror related. Oh, god damn it. Okay, we're gonna do a Fatalist run. Well, we're terribly sorry. We've lost Emmerdale. <laughs> there was a loud noise outside. Very briefly. I think we're fine. Okay, so here's the deal, right? Um, first World of Horror moment. So Timeline X is apparently a bug. Which is so sad. Basically, what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to either pick A or B, and then that's consistent throughout the entire run. But it's actually, uh, unfortunately, supposed to uh, just do that. It's not supposed to randomize it every mystery, which is so sad. So if that ever gets fixed, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna scream. We're gonna play a little Miku. I wanna play a little Miku right now. But yeah, if it ever gets fixed, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mauled. Uh, on... Oh, we gotta do Yelgatheg. We just unlocked him. He's the lad. The, the... The... OG. The life coach. Oh, the, the pressure down here is immense. All of the cool kids, you say? Uh... But anyways, so that's... That's the first thing, is that Timeline X may be taken away from us in the future. Very sad, very... It makes me want to cry. Uh, secondarily... The other terrifying thing, the most terrifying thing of all, to me personally, is the uh, second enemy, strength, knowledge, charisma, boss fight, and light source. So there's no dexterity? Yeah, there's no dexterity. And it's only second enemy, not second mystery, which is good because we're on Fatalist. Uh, somebody did tell me that you can actually cheese Fatalist a little bit because, like, three of the new mysteries have it to where you can see what they are based on the art. So, like, Medusa has jellyfish on it, for instance. Everything else is anonymized, though. And there's, like, a couple others that aren't, but th that's the only example that I was given. So that's kind of cool. F uh, Fatalist got, like, a tiny, teeny, tiny bit easier, which is pretty neat. But, uh... Yeah, we do a little empty bottle of water, turning that into a bottle of water. We still need more eco. I gotta be real with you. I gotta absolutely gobsmack you for a moment that uh, we gotta see more eco at least once. There we go. Saw more eco three times in a row, actually. But we're so back. So the other thing, the mo this is the most terrifying thing to me because, yeah, uh, my favorite way to play the game, or my new favorite way to play the game, being taken away permanently be in the name of a bug fix would be horrible. Oh, see, there's little little scribbles here, and there's little scribbles here. So that's probably one of the new mysteries, I think. Maybe. I don't know. Not entirely sure. We're just going to go from left to right, though. I That's what I normally do. I'm okay with operating in that way. Now, if this is a doomed location, we're going to cry ourselves to sleep. <laughs> but uh, the most terrifying thing is one of, one, of my, one of my static members, the main tank, purchased World of Horror... And I know this because I saw the Steam activity for it, so I am incredibly frightened. I, I really hope for once in my life that the algorithm just, like, the algorithm snipers take aim and they're like, alright, when this guy searches MBH, uh, Vine Sauce, and, uh, and VTubers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's how it's gonna have to go. That's gonna ha- that's how it's gonna have to go. Because if homie looks up World of Horror... Oh god, please don't click on the funny blue alien. Please don't click on the funny blue alien. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, it would be so over. It would be so over. 
Oh, it would be so over. First he steals my fucking robes off my back, my shirt. He steals my chest piece right off my fucking back. And then he's gonna, he, he's gonna know. He's gonna have the knowledge. Oh god, oh god, that's the worst thing. I will be on my Skull Disrespector arc if he knows. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that's so terrifying. That's so terrifying. What if we did a little trolling? Um... I mean, we might as well second enemy, by the way. What went wrong? No way. Something went wrong? Can we do 90-90? We can. Alright. Cool. I mean, we can't block. Like, who cares? Like, just do it big. Uh, you will never lose... You, you will never lose stamina on Miku. Unfortunately, I don't make the rules. But yeah, no, that's the most terrifying fucking thing. Uh, Sphinx? Mmm, kinda not based. We actually do have the monument now, don't we? I have no idea. I don't remember anything about the last episode. Oh my god, we took stamina damage? Holy shit. So this is gonna do seven, and then this is gonna do five. So theoretically that would work, but we're actually, uh, in cringe mode right now. Which is fair. Which is fair. Can we do 80-80? We can't. We can do 80, 90. All right, you gotta, you gotta do this. Even though it's consistent healing, you gotta do this. Send him to hell. Get him out of here. Remember, uh, uh, oh god, get that out of here, please. It was uh, Hawaro and Miyako. Okay, we're good. But uh, also a couple other things. So. Um, I, I completely forget what the movie is called, but Spider-Verse 2, uh, came to Netflix, and let me just say, that movie is so fucking good. Like, I, I, like, I know everybody's already watched it at this point, the discourse has already been had, I'm not gonna add anything new or original or anything like that, um, but I, I just gotta say, man, I just gotta say, like... Honestly, that shit was was great. Like it was really good. Oh Hello there, yoga bag. How's it going? Omi's looking at me. Looking at me while I'm going to the doctor's office. That's a little unnerving. But uh like there, there's no there's nothing I can add to this. It's just a fantastic movie. That that that's it. There there is nothing else to add other than it's a banger of a movie. That's really it. Uh, it has a really good... Like, it ends on a cliffhanger, so that means we're getting a third one, hopefully. But, uh, yeah, no, I mean, it's it's real good. Like, I, I don't know what to say. Like, it's just amazing. Uh, and, you know, listen, obviously the art style is lovingly, like, just made and awesome and incredible. But, like, the story's good, too. Like, unironically, the story, beat for beat's pretty interesting. Um... You know, just going from the first movie into the second movie, and then the idea of like the the canon or whatever, it's it's decently interesting. It's it, it, it's like listen, I don't watch a lot of superhero movies. A lot of them I find really boring, uh, but this one I think is really interesting. And I think the reason for that is that it's kind of got that promerare pacing where everything is just moving like not too fast, and it has slow moments. It's just. How do I put it? It has those slow moments, and those slow moments are really, really good. Like all the character development on Gwen and Miles and their parent and their relationship with their parents is a banger. Like unironically, like really, really good. Um, and it it works. Like it really does. I I don't know any other way to say it other than it's just like a really good movie. And I'm having difficulties articulating it. Like it's just absolutely fantastic. There, I, I, what do you want me to say? Like, there are people who are much more eloquent with their words than me, and smarter than me, who could do, like, a really good, like, overview on why we're gonna take Outdoorsman just for the, the hero play. Just for fun. But, like, people who are, who are much better with their words than I, who are also not trying to play a video game and be entertaining at the same time, who could much more appropriately articulate their words on why they 
love or enjoy certain aspects of the movie. But I really do like, like, obviously, like, it's a pretty cliche setup of, like, don't tell, don't let anybody tell you that you don't belong. And then immediately afterwards, he's being told that he doesn't belong. And, like, all the spider people hate him. But, like, it works so well for what the movie is. You know what I mean? Like, it, it just works so well for the movie. And you're rooting for Miles, right? Like, and the consequences of what happens around him and how the canon is broken and can't be predicted is sort of like, I really don't want to say Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning. <laughs> Re-Reckoning. Um... If you're if you got into it like in the last five years or not five years sorry when did it, when did Re Reckoning come out hold up do I own it I do own Re Reckoning the last two years it came out in 2021 it's a good game by the way it's a really good game um but yeah no like it. The idea of, like, the protagonist being able to defy, like, the fate that's happening, and then it goes in a more interesting direction, because in Reckoning, you can, like, fate is a thing that's set in stone, but you, because you're the special main character, can affect fate and do whatever the fuck you want, right? Uh, sure. We can just get shot as a treat. We got painkillers. You, you, you don't need that... It, it, you, you don't need to be, like, a, a solid... You don't need to be solid. You, you can be shot. It's fine. We got the stamina to be shot. Uh, now, obviously, I'm not liking this too much. But we, we've gotten some nice minus doom. It's time to pay it forward a little bit. But, uh, yeah, no, it's just a really great movie. I really like Miles. I really like Gwen. And I really like the setup for the third movie. I think it's really interesting. Uh, will I watch the third movie in theaters? I mean, it's really good. I don't know if I want to go to the theaters, though. Like, I don't like the theaters. The only time I want to go to the theater is if it's, like, I'm wanting to have, like, good crowd reaction, right? Like, I wanted to go to the theaters for the, the... I was gonna call it the Freddy Fazbear movie. Like, fucking, like, Fredbear Entertainment or, like, fi or, like, the Freddy Fazbear pizzeria chain is real in real life or whatever. But, like, you know what I mean. Yeah, sure, we'll take stamina damage, or we'll just get lucky. We got seven luck, by the way. Yo, what if we, uh, what if we got Moriko? What if we just unlocked Moriko for fun? Like, right now? Like, what if we just unlocked Moriko for fun, like, right now? That'd be pretty cool, right? That'd be pretty cool, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That'd be pretty neat. Um, but yeah, no, I, like, I, I don't know what you want me to say. Like, it's, uh, I, I wanted to go to the Five Nights at Freddy's movie because... Like, people unironically would cheer when Freddy Fazbear came on the screen. And apparently people did that, which is great. I love that. That's awesome. I would cheer when Freddy Fazbear gets on the stage. Eh, to, eh yeah, sure. Oh, we're based. We're built different. But, uh, yeah, no. It, it, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. The Spider-Verse movie. I haven't seen Five Nights at Freddy's. Apparently it's already on streaming, though. So that's actually neat. Uh, I don't know if I want to pay $11 to subscribe to a streaming service for a month and then immediately cancel it after I'm done watching the movie. I might, honestly. It doesn't sound too bad. But, uh, yeah, sure, we'll just take another point of strength. I don't know why I'm using the meat cleaver, by the way. I, I wouldn't be able to answer that question if you if you were like, all right, you're under oath, what are you doing? I, I don't know if I'd be able to answer that question. Now, this is frightening. This is freaky. But it ain't a flood, so I guess we're fine. Uh, we might honestly want to fish for, like, some way to kill him in the... It, 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 honestly, like, I'm not even joking. Like, we might want to fish for some way to kill Akamanto in the in the History Club. Like, that's that's real. That's true. Uh, you can just go to hell, by the way. Like, I, 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 don't, know what you, I don't know what you want from me. Um, I, I, don't know what you, I don't know what you want from me, personally. I mean, we can either take two, or we're just gonna do that. Oh, funny. All right, do a little brace. How's our dodge looking? Bad. There was dodge discourse the other day. I think I mentioned that Funky was getting their ass beat. It was pretty, pretty wacky to watch. Also kind of funny, I'm not gonna lie. But like, it is really weird that we've been through, like, so many funky event horizons where it's like, 
you know, people talk about the game in the main, like, channel, and then the game... <laughs> we're not doing ending A. I will not... I, I, I hate ending A so much from this mystery. Um, Witch's tree... We can get two curses here for free! And then we just, like, rest up for a little bit. That's all right. Oh, we're being told to rest more? You don't... You don't fucking say. But, uh, you know, the, the fact that we've seen, like, multiple times, like, somebody just talking about the game in the main chat, getting things nerfed and things being made harder is just, like... It's pretty funny, honestly. Uh, we, we do a little look. We do a little look. Uh, I, I'll, you know, I'll fish for it. That, 70% doom, but we're not using a sea slot, sure. That does it, like, that, that does it, adrenaline does it. We, we win these with adrenaline and handcuffs. <laughs> what a statement, what a fucking statement, man. Ugh. Yeah, we win these easy, 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 we win these easy. And also, I think this is something that the, the Spider-Verse movie does really well, that I think, I mean, I, I highly doubt it's, like, underrated or whatever, because everybody loves the movie, right? But I think one of the things that it does really well, go, 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 let's go. Uh, one of the things that it does really well is you get into, like, the movie is, like, really long. It's two hours and 20 minutes, which is brazy for a movie, right? But it's it feels very fast paced, and it goes through. Ah, uh, we'll, we'll deal with those weird lines later. Um, it, is it? It's extreme. It's extremely fast paced, and it goes through characters real fast, right? Like I'm not even joking. Like it goes through characters very quickly, and but all the characters are super memorable, right? Like they're like you just see like a weird spider person. The spoiler alert. Um, the oh man i mean i guess the movie's been out for a while right if you can watch it on netflix it's probably okay to spoil it at this point but basically miles has a disagreement with the spider society and they try to beat him up you know they try to beat the crap out of him oh my god are we no 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 if only our dexterity was pog um I don't know, I want to see if I can make dodge work one of these days. But there's, like, no point in doing damage, because we're just getting this shit, and then we're just gonna instant kill, you know? It's kind of weird. But, um... I mean, you hate to see it, but that's what you gotta do sometimes. Do we have the monument? I didn't check. Do we have the monument? Oh! Oh my god! I've been- I've missed you so much! Anyways, what was I saying? Oh, I've got no idea. Uh, basically, you know, you've got, um... Miles and the Spider Society have a disagreement, so obviously there's, like, a chase sequence. And you'll just see, like, these weird spider people in the background that are all just so memorable. Like, this big, like, massive hulking spider guy with, like, a fucking minigun. And then you'll see some really cool spider people. Like, the, the main ones that they introduced to the movie, they, they didn't have Penny, they didn't have Noir. Um, but they did have... Oh, God. I did forget their names. Besides Hobie, Hobie's pretty based. But, uh... Like, the, the spider people that they entered... Did the monument get nerfed? That was the second time we used it three reason? Are you fucking crazy? Oh my god. Anyways. Um... We do a little talking? Jesus Christ. We might be able to win this fight, too, which is the funny part. I mean, this is winnable. Is it winnable? I mean, it is, but, like, do I want to win it when we can just get burned? What if this shit is the recluse mystery, right? Like, that kind of sucks if it is. But then the enemies are doing five damage, it doesn't matter. Um, but, like, the, the cyber spider guy was really awesome, too. Uh, like, he makes a really compelling... Like, I don't even know if he's, like, a villain. Like, he just kind of wants to beat the shit out of a, a teenager. Which is bad? You shouldn't do that. Like, I, I think we can, all, we can all agree that that's, like, a bad thing, right? Like, yeah. I'm gonna take quick thinking. We're not gonna get that shit up to eight, are we? What's a, what's a minusing our hunger? So we would be at five? So we could go up to seven if we didn't have hunger. But, like, eh, it's not really. 
not something that's really realistic on happening. So we're just gonna take another point of sanity, I think. Try to keep our health level. Cause like healing is the part that I'm worried about right now, honestly. Um, but yeah, you just got like a lot of we like a lot of weird and cool spider people, and then you've got some really awesome spider people. Like there's um, there was one she caught my eye like immediately, and I mean she has like an extended scene, but it's like um, she starts off in like a wheelchair, and then it turns into like this spider robot, and I was like, oh that's fucking based as fuck, like that shit was awesome. I mean we do a little wasting another day as a treat, you know. Oh fuck, this is the this is actually horrible. <laughs> Hold up. Oh no, no, no. But yeah, no, there there's there there's a lot of there's a lot of cool spider people and then there's like the weird hulk guy in the back with the minigun. Um they do a lot of cool bits. There's the Lego world. It, it, it's all really interesting. It's all really cool. Uh we we do a little we do a little eating. Oh, strength check success. Crunchy, but food is food. Crunchy? Real. Uh, but yeah, no, it, it's really good. It's really good. I I don't know I don't know what to say, other than it's just incredible. It's a really, really good movie. I yeah, no, I d I, I don't know what to say. It's a fantastic movie. The the spider people designs are all really unique and awesome. There's like a spider person for anybody to be obsessed with. And here's the thing, they don't get a lot of screen time. Because the movie is mostly just focused about Gwen and Miles, and it works. It works really well, because they're all incredibly memorable. You know, you, you don't really have, like, e even the ones who are just purely background characters and they don't get any lines, like, even then, they still get, like, they, they still kind of, like, their designs are awesome, you know, even if they don't really do anything in the movie. Like people had a lot of fun with that. I would, I would assume. Like, and I imagine, like, there's just, there's just so many of them. I don't think they're all like established spider people, right? Like, I don't think there's a way that there's that many of them with comics, you know? Like that shit was crazy. Like that shit's awesome, honestly. But yeah, shout outs to, uh, shout outs to that movie. Now, unfortunately, you know, I did hear that it was like real fucked up with crunch which is awful you know we do a little checking behind the wardrobe and then we're gonna waste another day uh i'm gonna try to use the stuffed toy on the boss just to see what happens but honestly if we could see this mystery ahead of time we could maybe even tech into getting whatchamacallit sacrifice the toy sure Um, I don't really know what that did for us. Um, we, we sacrificed the toy and we're gonna lose? Catch me losing? I think it's statistically impossible for us to win unless we dodge out of our fucking minds. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Regain. Hold on. Hold on. Let me cook. Regain no 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 that's that's the wrong one. This one? Regain one reason, please. Do a little brace, we do a little offering. Let me cook. Let me cook. We do a little offering. We do a little brace. Oh, we go down to one sanity. That's really bad though. That's really bad though. We're gonna take minus three from the lighthouse. So I think we might as well just do this to regain one reason anyways. We do a little offering. And then you just fucking send them to hell. Thank you, uh, Mayhem, for getting us to eight knowledge. Very cool. <laughs> Fleshy toy? Huh? What? We can't inspect it? I would want to inspect that. Or actually, you know what? Never mind. I completely agree. I wouldn't want to inspect that at all. That just That just goes in the briefcase and you just forget about that. You just, you just, you, 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 uh, listen, out of context, it probably sounds really long, wrong to have a, a fleshy toy hidden away in your, in your apartment, but, you know, sometimes it's better that that never sees the light of day. Uh, oh my god. Yeah, we're, we're not gonna inspect that, we're just gonna move on with our lives. Okay, so we're good, we're good, 
Uh, minus three stamina. Minus three. Oh shit, do we have Heart of Darkness? I think it was the first thing that we got. We're taking minus six! Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna level up, we're gonna level up, we're gonna level up. So we're getting plus two, we're getting plus two. We're getting plus two. So we need to get the five, and then hope that we don't take any other damage somehow from, like, the fuckers. Yeah, 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 yeah. We just, we just gotta get the five. We just gotta get the five. We just gotta get the five. So we do a little bit of that. And then we're gonna level up. We're gonna level up. Okay. Uh, you. And then... Easy. Okay. Level me up. Take that one, I guess. We're gonna take some sanity. Or else we die. And then we're good. Now, we would have been at 7 Charisma unless we used the toy to get rid of Hunger, which is actually kind of fucking based. Like, I, I think that seeing the reward for sacrificing the toy, it is not worth it. Max 3 Reason does nothing for you. Uh, unless there's some weird tech where it heals you that plus 3 Reason? Uh, but, you know. Anyways, you're fucking dead. I don't give a shit. You're dead. Um, you know, you can get the bonus by throwing it and then blah, 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 or whatever. But, yeah, no. Anyways, um, there's something else I wanted to talk about. Oh, yeah, I was in the Savage memes for a little bit, helping a friend out. Her group that she runs with needed a healer, Phil, and I was like, oh, yeah, I'll go in. But that's a story for the next episode, because that's, like, something you could talk about for the entire fucking episode. Uh, but, yeah, no. So, go watch the, the Spider-Verse movie. They just just went out on Netflix now. It's really good if you haven't seen it. But if you like the first one and you still haven't seen the second one, like me, uh, you should go watch it. It's really fantastic. Uh, I like a, I, I like pretty much everything about the movie. Um, and you know, if we're drawing lines in the sand between like Team Cyber Spider and Team Miles, I'm definitely Team Miles. Um, but yeah, no, uh, it was a, it was a really good movie. I really enjoyed it. Uh, so, anyways. Uh, stay safe out there. Have a good one. Bye.